this is another unveiling unboxing video um please check out the unboxings that i've done this year i'm also trying to help the people who designed these cards um i'm not sure what is happening to the lightning in my house um because this is making <laughs> so i just did um the last unboxing so we're going to be going on so i'm basically unboxing all the new decks that i've got to work with in 2019 okay so i'm sharing all my gift with you guys um so um please share these videos i want to make sure that um all these people who are designing these decks um are receiving now my thing is that i'm always buying barbara colette barry to read decks i don't know they so align with my energies um this is a new deck this is the wisdom of the Havalon, and I so wanted this deck and someone sent me this deck. I just got it today, so I haven't opened it. And we are going to check it out. I love Colette Barron. She has this um, magnificent connection with the spirit world and the multi-dimension world. This is what the box looks like. See, it's still in the seal. And um, so I'm I'm going to do a review on this. This is a back of the box I'm gonna do a review on this so um we are going to be um you know finding out what this is all about okay so here we are we're opening the box I always buy her decks it was Diana uh, D uh, Doreen I always buy Doreen's decks but um, there are so many people that has so many different decks so I try everyone out it depends on what I'm feeling when I see this new deck, how I'm feeling, if it's something for me now, because not every deck connects with me, okay? Um, if you guys notice, I always have a lot of call it bar, um, call it bar and read decks. It's because um, I so connect with her energies and her thing. Now, this is the wisdom of Avalon, okay? And um, this is wonderful. Uh, it is uh, um, it's a read of 52 cards divination system and um, introspection to the tool bridging the bridge unseen world of the spirit and the physical world of our day-to-day -day lives based on the rich minor technology of the anti-British Isles of Avalon and the wisdom teaching of its priestess this card deck and the accompany guidebook um, will help you find out valuable and powerful insights in all aspects of life as you chart your part and manifest your destiny with clarity and purpose. Their use will shield light, shed light on um, what has been, what needs illumination in the present and what will wave a pattern into the future the deck will help you to discover the potential of your own intuition as you follow the omen and symbols of the goddesses the kingdom of the fairies merlin and the princess and princesses um the magical avalon see into the future and discover um what you more than know okay so we're going to unveil and open the box isn't this beautiful yes it is okay so no messages in this box but we're going to check out this side so this is the guidebook here we go i love this deck so far this is the guidebook okay and this is a deck now as you see it's a brand new deck I always buy brand new decks only if I can't um, find a deck or I like going to um, like when I'm in Europe I always like to go to the old bookshops because they always have like these old tarot deck that is never you know and someone just put it there I like that sort of energies so that's how I will buy old deck but normally I'm always um, buying from Amazon 
so that I can also do a review for the person this is why I said to people if you have new decks that are about to come out I'll do the review for you because um, you guys help us um, as light workers okay all right okay this is what I'm talking to you about with Khaled Baron this is the back of the card isn't this beautiful she goes to places beyond our own imagination now this is good and this is what I'm saying to a lot of people that's why this deck is going to be used for um, the moon deck because it has the moon it has the cups it has the symbols and it have the message of Avalon okay Avalon is a civilization that was unhurt okay now obviously the cat has a message for someone out there so let's see what's the message for the cat the animal guide of the Avalon the cat independent healthy and um, boundaries number 18 okay the cat <laughs> it is so funny because the energy of the cat comes up and that is basically who I am I'm very independent healthy and I have my boundaries and it's number 18 which is the energy of the moon in the normal Torah deck and there is so many messages in this um, just this photo and as you look at this is a crystal it's the end of a crystal there so wonderful and mystical I'm loving the back this is the back of the card this is what the back of the card looks like it's beautiful okay so another message is fall out so I'm supposed to be doing these by numbers but whatever the messages are falling out it could be for me but it could be also for someone who's um, um, checking out this um, card review deck and it's the sacred journey makers it's a sacred journey makers the sacred journey makers okay this is good this is positive um the mystery um this is good it is the journey to the unseen world the sacred journey makers okay so if you believe in the unseen world the magical world this is a deck for us and this is um a message for someone out there and this can means that your spirit guides are going to be coming in this year so they are going to help you to align okay all right so this deck has 52 cards and that was a 52 card so um number 18 and number 52 comes out so there so let's go and check out the deck and then we're going to be doing a reading okay so the first card we have here from the 52 card decks of the wisdom of the Havilon Tara card we have Merlin and what a lot of people don't know Merlin is also he is also an ascendance master um, he's the magician just like Archangel Metatron and Saint Germain okay and this is Merlin I'm sorry about the guys the light you guys okay this is Merlin okay and it says the message of Avalon the Merlin alchemy justice and balance alchemy justice and balance I'm sorry guys but I, I, I'm really messed up with this light thing I don't know what is going on in my house okay so so it's all about Merlin it's all about the magic okay he's a magician Merlin is known as the magician he's a magician okay so that's number one number two we have the eye princess so Merlin carries the energy of the magician if you notice there is no zero in this deck so this is the magician then we have the eye princess and the eye princess is beautiful um, the message of Avalon the eye princess and the eye princess has to do with discernment um, perseverance prophecy and vision the sermon perseverance prophecy and vision love this that's the number two number three we have the energy of the king now the king 
which I'm trying to follow her because we have the queen as number four and the king as number three. The king, man, authority, male sex energy, things pertaining to the law and justice. Okay, so it's just like um, the, it's just like the energy of the, um, the emperor. This is the king. And it's all about authority, man, authority, male, sex, energy, things pertaining to law and justice. The queen, number four, woman, fertility, feminine, power, sexuality, and friendship. Isn't this beautiful? Number five, we have the no, the no voice, the no voice. And it's about the innocent beginner, ignorance, new skill without practice, instability, curiosity. It's like the energy of the fool. Okay? It's as if the energy of the fool. I'm loving this deck. I can see myself using it in different ways. Number six. The girl knight. Romance, illusion, seeking the sacred. I'm loving this. This is beautiful, my darlings. This is really, really beautiful. It's really, really positive. It's a positive deck. The bard, it's the musician, the poetry, the myth, the historians, the empowerment of the storyteller, the bard. And that's the number seven. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Number eight, the lady of the lake. Now, the lady of the lake is a beautiful energy. Um, absolute truth, courage, self-respect, and responsible. The lady of the lake. I have another deck from her, and they have also the lady of the lake in that deck. I think the eagle love this is the spirit number nine the eagle spirit integrity connection to the angelical realm and I love the eagle because I tend to have I love the eagle I can so work with the eagle and this is good the raven the mystical coincident synchronistic event the raven beautiful beautiful deck just absolutely beautiful it's so beautiful 11 we have the orc the omens and the message the orc and this is so true the orc always carry the omen and the messages thank you this is so beautiful wonderful the swans this is beautiful transformation trust in the psychic gift the swans i'm loving this i'm really loving this it's like it's a feather it's all about the feather the the feather animals it's all about the birds the swan um it is really a beautiful deck which i'm loving as i go along the whole deception but wisdom deception but wisdom so with everything in life there's a positive and a negative look at that so this could be an old person or an old wise person a magician a witch so they know how to use the positive and the negative okay so I'm getting this I'm getting I'm getting it okay so we have the frog um cleaning house releasing emotional baggage Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. Very beautiful. I'm loving this deck. Very beautiful. The annual gifts of Avalon. Number 15. Creative project, the, the spider. Okay, so it's not that bad, the spider, because people think that the spider is bad. 
Okay, then we have the bee. I love the bee. I'm sure I was a bee when I was, um, I'm sure I was a bee. Luck, industriousness, sweet victory. The bee. Okay. The stag, pride and leadership. Well done. Well done. I'm loving this. Well done. Now we have the cat. He came out about independency and boundaries. And then right after the cat, guess who we have? The dog. <laughs> These are so super cool. We have the cat and the dog. So the cat is number 18 and the dog, loyalty, sincerity, unconditional love. And that's the dog. Trust me. Aww. The cow, which a lot of people forget. It's the nurturing, the abundancy, and acting and receiving. The cow is, um, is a symbol to the Buddhism. Okay, they don't drink cow milk, they don't eat cow meat. Okay, this is a, a spiritual animal which a lot of people in the Western world is not aware of. The wasp, the wasp, angry, retaliating, and jealousy. So, whenever you see, um, and if you want to speak about someone that is very jealous, retaliating, it's the wasp. They are the wasp, okay? And they need to change and become a bee. The deer. This came up in the year reading. And this, I'm saying to a lot of people, I'm going to be using a lot of animal um, in the year 2019 because everyone is ascending. We're on this um, process to ascend. And the deer, it's gentleness and diplomacy. Gentleness and diplomacy. 23rd, the 23, the serpent. Knowledge and healing, always. The serpent is always knowledge, healing, and wisdom. Knowledge, healing, and wisdom, the serpent. 23. The dragon, love the dragons, love the dragons. The dragons, power and strength. Power and strength. And this is why I always say to you guys, call upon the dragons, okay? Call upon the dragons. The dragons is power and strength, okay? Call upon the fire dragons to light your way um, forward, okay? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, this light, man, I don't know what's happening with this light. The butterfly beauty. Isn't this beautiful? The butterfly. It's all about beauty. The horse. Accepting help from another. Delegating authority. Here we go. We have the energy of the horse. Accepting help from another. Delegating help or authority. The hurt fairy. I knew the fairies was going to come in because anything has to do with Avalon. I've done so many research. Anything that has to do with Avalon, I know the fairies would come up. The hurt fairy. I love this because she's depicted as a black woman. And this is so beautiful. It's a physical health ground in foundation physical health ground in and foundation the waver fairy the waver fairy now the waver fairy feelings and emotional the waver fairy feelings and emotions and this is a japanese or chinese she looks more japanese this is so perfect now, another beautiful African princess, the wind fairy. Thoughts, word, intellect, and analysis. Isn't this beautiful? 
The Fire Fairy, Creative Action Optimism. The Fire Fairy, Creative Action and Optimism. The Goblins, The Wonderful Human Eagle. I love this. Yeah, I love this. This is so powerful. Partnerships, beautiful, a beautiful deck. Call it Barrett has done well. Partnerships. Focus. Very beautiful. And if you understand this deck, which I'm going to explain, it's 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 a multifacile deck okay Welt restrictions movement joy Protection, disruption, the tower, risk, communication, perception. Burden, letting go, love, marriage, debt, Trust, beautiful. It's all about the nature. If you notice that this deck is all about nature. Fear. Forgiveness is what all of us need to learn in 2019. Bert, rebirth. Truth and the last one, mystery. Well, well done. Okay, what I wanted to say to you guys is that this deck I can realize it because it's the first time I'm seeing this deck. It has um, three or four different facility of this deck. It has communication. Um, it has to do with animals, movement, restriction, then it has health, money, wealth, so it had the goblins, and the goblins comes up with a fairy, the goblins and the fairy works together, the goblins clean your energy as you walk in nature, so does the fairy, the fairies, whenever you have a lot of, um, um, Plants in your house, they clean the energy in your house. That's why um, growing plants should be in people's house because it cleans the energies. Okay? Then it has the sense of, um, then they have the fairy, the mystical world. Then they have uh, um, the dragons, the serpents, uh, the cows, so uh, the raven. So it has the animals, then it has the people. So it started off with people magician. Now Merlin, which was the number one energy, Merlin is always the magician of um, the outside world, the nature world. He's he works with the nature, and with Merlin and the goblins, Merlin and the goblins, because um, that was the change of guards was the goblins. I just had him here. Um. They work with, you know, cleansing your energy. And this is why people wishes and dreams come out as they're outside um, wishing and having wishing and dreams. Okay. 
this is why okay so this is good I'm loving this deck I'm really loving this deck so we are going to be hacking this deck for our messages for our viewers okay okay and we get one thing knowledge it just flew out and they say that's the message for and the horse <laughs> um, so we have knowledge the serpent and the horse ask for help so these are the messages um, that you guys have um, the serpent and knowledges from this deck so the horse is uh, um, accepting help from others delegating authority and the serpent is knowledge and healing knowledge and healing okay so this is the message from this deck ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you for being here I would give this deck um, um, an 8 8.5 and I think it's a beautiful deck and because it's an animal deck not a lot of people use animal decks but this is not only animal deck it is a mystical deck it has to do with um, the spirit nature it's a spirit nature deck now not a lot of people will understand this deck but I do understand it so it's getting a 8.5 I think the the work is good on these deck love okay I think it's a very beautiful deck I love it personally but seeing that it's a mixture I'm giving it a 8.5 which is really excellent excellent deck so I will say that also it's an excellent deck 8.5 ladies and gentlemen please watch the rest of the unboxing and I want to say namaste until next time